This is Chris Kell with your Friday Throwdown. All right, for our Friday Throwdown, our workout today consists of what we call Alter Ego. All right, Alter Ego is a circuit of four exercises. All right, what we're going to do is perform the first exercise for 30 reps, followed by 15 reps of the next three. Okay, the goal for today's workout is to see how long it takes us to get through four rounds of this circuit. All right, and the, the little twist that we'll throw in there, and you don't have to do this, um, you know, kind of only if you can wrap your mind around this and remember, is the 30 rep exercise is going to start with a donkey kick. So round one, I do 30 donkey kicks, 15 of everything else. For round two, I do 30 dips and then 15 of everything else. So the donkey kick would go back to 15, um, 30 dips, three mini band, or 15 mini band pulls, and four overhead switch jumps. The idea is that this 30 rep number is going down, so each exercise will be done for 30 reps in one round, okay? And then, you know, by the time we get to the end, that will be uh, your last round there, all right? Now, what I'm gonna do is just demonstrate some uh, beginner and advanced progressions for each uh, exercise that applies, and we'll rock this thing. So, first exercise, we have a donkey kick. Um, the beginner's a high knee run. I'll show you what that is in a minute. Second is a dip. Uh, the if you have shoulder problems, we would just hold it kind of in an L sit position. I'll show you that. Uh, three mini band pulls, four either an overhead switch jump uh, where we're jumping, or a uh, a lunge versus a lung. So um, I'm just going to uh, put the camera down here and demonstrate. All right, for this workout, we're going to need a mini band. Okay, I'm assuming that uh, you know. I'm here in my kitchen. Um, I'm assuming that you don't have much access to equipment. Um, this is something that you can carry with you anywhere, so that's that's a good thing. All right, so for our first exercise, a donkey kick. Um, kind of will move this over a little bit. So I'm putting my hands on the chair. You can certainly use a desk. And all I'm doing is literally kicking my butt. All right, so uh, it's pretty easy. And you know, if you can't do that, we're just going to do a high knee run, where once again we come into this this position. It's almost like an incline mountain climber, just in the sense that I'm bringing my knees to the chest. The key is that we keep the feet off the floor, okay, and keep the back flat like a table. So that would be the beginner version of that. Second exercise would be a dip. With a dip, I'm thinking about pressing through the outside of my hands, dropping straight down, pausing, and coming back up. You can bend your knees to make it easier. Straighten your legs out to make it harder. Just think about this, though, as cardiovascular tip at cardiovascular exercise versus necessarily something where we want to make our muscles have crazy burn or we're strength training. So that's the key. Um, the other thing, it, the uh, the regression for that or the beginner version would just be to hold for a you know 15 to a 30 second count. And notice with this, with the dip or with that, my elbow, I'm pressing through the outside of my hand, like I was saying, elbows are tucked into my side. And with this, I usually turn my hands out a little bit, just so the way to shift it kind of back into my palm. So it's kind of the same things we tell you to sit back on your heels. Mini band pull, um, this is a very easy exercise. It can, well, it's not easy, but it's, uh, it's good for beginners and advanced clients. Um, what we can do here is we're just gonna hold our palms towards the ceiling here, and we're just gonna pull this apart, again, 15 to 30 times. For the, over, for the overhead switch jump, okay, you're going to pull your arms above your head like this, shoulder blades squeeze down back, the mini band can be around your hands or not, okay, we're just, again, switching, okay, and again, if that's kind of stressful on the shoulders, you can also just hold a Y position, same rules apply, okay, now, uh, for the regression here, we have a reverse lunge, so hands above your head or on your hips, I'm just alternating, that would be one, that would be two, and the same with the switch jump, one, two, three, like that. We want to set a timer, see how long it takes you to get through that workout, post in our form, that's your Friday throwdown.